my name is Sean and uh, became whole food plant-based in about 2011 I started leaning that way um, my son who was in grade 11 at the time started uh, weightlifting and wanted to take whey powder because that's what everybody at the gym did and I thought to myself that maybe I should look into that to see what it was before he started taking it and so I started doing some research at that point and it uh, it was like a wormhole I just kind of read more and more and more finding out all of these um, shocking things about food that we've been eating our whole lives um, I guess the quintessential point of turning for me was when I read uh, the China study and after that it just seemed that there was no way that anyone could ever continue with that lifestyle so I started eating that way at home in fact uh, I think I I gave it a one-month trial to try it to see if it would be doable and it was so then I am on April 1st of 2011 I made the commitment and uh, I cleaned out everything in my kitchen that was not whole food plant-based gave it away to neighbors and friends and uh, <clears throat> dragged my family along with me well since that time I've lost a hundred pounds and I've always struggled with my weight the classic have a couple of babies keep continuing to gain weight um, I think the first month I lost 15 pounds without even trying and it just melted away it was so fast that people were shocked and the reactions I had by I would meet people in the grocery store or in town or things like that and I had people who would actually sorry would actually cry because they had struggled their whole lives and couldn't believe the change in me. I was so passionate about it because I read and read and read. I read, I have like this whole, most people have rock stars and I have T. Colin Camel and John McDougall and Caldwell Esselstein and Dean Ornish, that whole gang. I call them my gang. And uh, I was so passionate about it that my parents are now vegan, um, my best friend became vegan, and my in-laws became vegan. And, uh, <laughs> and anybody who will listen to me, who um, it's hard to, to temper it because it's just so simple. It's just as plain as the nose on your face. And it's, we have been brainwashed. We're all behind this horrible veil of misinformation um, and tell, I just, I feel like uh, you just want to spread the word. Tell me about your husband's diagnosis. So I felt that all of this kind of, I did this for myself and for the health of my family, but on a grander scene of the things, it seemed like it was uh, actually preparing me. For November 13, 2013, my husband was diagnosed in emergency on a Saturday night with stage 4 kidney cancer. And the prognosis was not good. They said, you know, maybe months to two years. And it pulled the rug out from under our, our lives because I thought we were super healthy. I mean, we'd we both lost weight due to this new diet and, and uh, you know, our cholesterol was better than it had ever been and we were feeling great, exercising, all of these kind of things and then suddenly this diagnosis hits you. So, um, I changed my focus to reading about nutrition and cancer specifically and it seems that there is an unbelievable amount of research that's been done for decades linking cancer and diet specifically animal protein and so it kind of reinvigorated me to research more and become even more strict 
and my husband, who was vegan at home because I cooked and he ate what I gave him, would definitely cheat and have a burger with friends or this or that. And But that night at emergency, he was scared straight and became extremely dedicated. Um, we proceeded, he went and had a major surgery, the kidney removed, many lymph nodes, um, and recovered in hospital, and uh, then came home, recovered from the surgery, started a, a trial study on an immuno-boosting therapy that we had to uh, drive to Vancouver every three weeks for, and uh, after only three treatments, he the the drugs turned on his own, I guess, boosted his immune system to the point where it attacked his liver in a near fatal attack, and uh, that was terrifying. So he, uh, we proceeded though. We were plant based, and we continued on with a what I call a program of nutritional excellence, and. Uh, Sure enough, we rounded a corner where things started. Every time he went for a um, CAT scan, all the affected lymph nodes were getting smaller and smaller to the point where at his last CAT scan, there was no radiological evidence of any cancer anywhere. They said that if he had walked into some unknown hospital and they'd done a CT scan, they would have never known he had cancer. And the oncologists are mystified and kind of fight to see him because he's this anomaly that should be dead. Uh, I think in his cancer, his type of cancer, only 8% um, live past two years. So. The treatment nearly killed him and everybody else dies from it and we're on a plant-based whole food diet and after two years when they said he should be dead he went back to work full-time and now knock on wood uh, we can proceed with a normal life and regardless of what happens in the future um, the quality of life that he's had for this past well, gosh, over a year and a half, really, um, has been amazing. He looks healthier than anyone else that I know. Um, I think we both do. People always tell us that we glow. Uh, for myself, my eyesight has gotten better for the last three checkups. My eyesight gets progressively better, and I feel that's because all of the black and fat and everything is coming out of all of those tiny little arteries in my eyes. Um, I am constantly trying to, without being too obnoxious, tell people how important this is. And for the life of me, I do not know why there is not a lineup at our front door asking us, please show us how to do this because I lost 100 pounds and he survived stage four cancer. I mean, we're both, in different ways, poster children for whole food plant-based. 